And amen to all that was said. There's been none better. He was England's new cricket captain. The 25-year-old Lancashire batsman will lead England for the remaining two tests against Australia. Atherton succeeds Graham Gooch, who resigned on Monday after England's third defeat by Australia in the current test series. Michael Atherton had meant to spend today walking in the Lake District. Instead, he found himself walking into one of the toughest jobs in British sport, captaining an England side which had been humiliated by the Australians just two days ago for the third time this season. Atherton's personal performance in that match displayed many of the qualities that have made him Graham Gooch's successor, great determination and the ability to act coolly under immense pressure. Characteristics expanded on by the chairman of selectors when he revealed five candidates had been considered. If the committee's agreed criteria included the need for mental toughness, especially with the West Indies in mind. Atherton has been appointed for the last two matches of the Lost Ashes series with the expectation that he'll lead the tour party to the West Indies this winter. He's under no illusions as to the job facing him. Well, Graham's carried the can for the team performance has not been uh, especially good, but I think all the players would be aware that it's their responsibility to uh, produce the goods on the field. Um, if we can get to the stage where they're producing their best and if England play to their potential, then it's a realistic possibility to win games. Over the years, too many New England captains have been ushered in with promises of a new dawn that never materialised. With only 25, Mike Atherton is a refreshing, imaginative choice, but the team under his command is patently a poor one and expecting too much too soon would be foolhardy. Kevin Geary, BBC News, Lords. And that's the...